Hey guys, welcome to another Master That Riff. In this lesson, we're going to look at Singer Swing uh, by Van Halen, which of course is of uh, fair warning. So, tuning wise, I'm a half step down, but I'm drop D as well. So, I've got this D flat, it's A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and then E flat in the top. Okay, so this is uh, a really fast uh, swing tune, obviously. You know, closing the name. So with these sort of rhythms, when you're playing your even eighths and these little uh, pull-offs and things we're going to talk about, you've not got that one and two and three and four and kind of feel. You know, one and two and three and four and it's a swung feel. So it's one and two and three and four and one of the great things about uh, Eddie Van Halen's playing was his swing, the ability to kind of groove at this sort of tempo. If you slow it down, it swings equally the same, you know, that way. So what I'm going to start off with is I'll look at the, the main gist of the riff and then the little bits in between. So we start off, some of that sounds like this. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to do about hammer on zero to three. Uh, and of course that's coming in in the end of the swing. So it's, and four, so. Yeah, that sort of feel. So hammering on, I use the middle finger to do the hammer on zero to three. Then I'm going to play basically a little D power chord, so it's open D string and then second fret the G string with the first finger. Picking wise I do that with a down and up stroke. Let that sustain. Then I'm going to do a pull off 3 to 0 on the A string, so I'm doing the middle finger again. Then I'm going to play the open D string and then open D string low, one here. Yeah. It sounds like you might hear a little bit of that second fret in the G string there, but this is the main kind of gist of it. So that opening phrase slowly sounds like this. Okay, and that bit there, I'm doing a down stroke, then an up stroke, and then a down stroke. Okay, and then you've got a rest after that, so you've got some space. Okay, then I have something that sounds like this. Okay, so now I'm going to play a 0 3 0 on that A string. So I'm doing that, I start with an up stroke, and then I do a down stroke to the 3 0. Now, you could play that all legato, like hammer and pull off, but I think for the added feel of the timing, I quite like to do that pick and then pick to get the kind of groove. Yeah. So I do that up stroke, down stroke, three zero pull off. Then I've got my up stroke and my little D power chord again. Then what I'm going to do is play third fret of the D string here and slide into this G power chord. So I play that with an up stroke to get a down stroke in this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm sliding that middle finger up to the fifth fret as I hit it. And I'm hearing, sometimes you might see this transcribed with a, a bar kind of thing here, but I hear this kind of sizzle of open strings. And I think it'd be a G power chord that you would just play down here in standard tuning. So what you hear basically is that fifth fret, then open D string, and then this open G string. As you play through the riff, sometimes you may not hear the G string, you might just hear the, you know, that uh, low D string and then the, the normal D string. So that little bit slowly sounds like this. And that's kind of the main riff. Uh, so if I play it, it sounds like this. Yeah. So, the... We play that basically four times. The second time through, we've got a little push on the B string here. Now, because of my guitar, I've got my pickup covered here, so I don't have any pole pieces. So it's kind of just an approximation. What you would hear, maybe the string hit the pole pieces and you get that kind of pitch. But all I'm doing is I'm pushing down on the B string and I'm kind of slightly towards the nut end of middle, just to get that note. You know, it's more of a percussive thing. But you push down in that before you do that little bit again. Okay, so that bit slowly sounds like this. Yeah. I uh, don't know what I did there. I think I did a pull off in the, the D string. But you know, general idea. Uh, the third time through, before we get to our, there's a little kind of rock slide. So I kind of slide with a pick a little bit and then slide down. 
Yeah, just to add a little bit of rock to that bit. So before the fourth time of that riff, we've got these little harmonics. So what it sounds like is playing is like fifth fret the D string, natural harmonic, and then it sounds like a fourth fret and then a third fret on the low D string here. But they're kind of muted in a way. It's more like a kind of a, a percussive thing he's doing. So with the end of the third time through, you have this. And then you get bit back into yeah. And then after the fourth time, that's chord. Sounds like he's um, it wasn't quite a pick scrape here. And I think what he's doing is he's tapping at the tenth fret. I'm gonna play like a C power chord in a way. So I'm tapping at the tenth fret of the D and A string there, and then sliding up for the whole bar. Yeah, and you get a little bit of that percussive or string noise at the end. And then basically you have this section that goes. So what I'm doing is playing down these power chords. So I'm going to play 8th fret twice, down up. Then I'm going to do 6th fret, but it's kind of with staccato feel. So you put a gap after each one. Then you go to 4th fret, gap each after each one. Then I've got 3rd fret with a down up. Then I go to 5th fret, and then 5 to 7. And then you end it with this little natural harmonic kind of chord at the 7th fret on the D, A and D strings there, and then you kind of slow strum it. So that bit kind of sounds like this from here. Uh, and you're back into this. Okay, so that's it guys. So it's not um, an overly complicated riff in the way. What makes it tricky is the timing. Like a lot of kind of Eddie Van Halen sort of stuff. Getting that feeling groove. Um, this, how you pick it, it can be a very personal thing. As I say, I always favor upstroke. So sometimes when I'm playing this, I might do whatever. But aim for that, that down on that kind of landing kind of feel. A few, and you can practice just playing just that little section or something just to get a kind of feel for it before you go for the whole riff. Yeah, so thanks, guys. I want to say a big thanks to Chris uh, for suggesting this riff. As he said, it's not a riff you see that much of on, on YouTube, so I thought it'd be great to cover it. And obviously, you know, I always want to do a bit of Eddie Van Halen, it's a phenomenal uh, legend that he was. Uh, if you want access to the Guitar Pro, the animated tab for this, uh, head on over to uh, the Master Guitar Patreon group. You'll get access to that there. And you'll also get the Helix patch that I created for this and maybe a little bit of uh, uh, some words on how I came up with the patch, why I got this kind of tone. I'll try and emulate the ever elusive Van Halen tone. Uh, you also get access to loads of other materials there for the Master That Solo, uh, Master That Lake, Master That Gear, all the different videos that we've got, video series that I've got up on YouTube, you've got additional materials for all that. Plus it's exclusive lessons for Patreons and stuff there as well. So you can come over and join for as little as $1 a month and you can get access to uh, some of the perks there. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter as well if you're on those platform guys. So thanks for watching, have fun with that riff, I'll see you next time.